These are some of our favorite Elvis Presley stories. This was an extraordinary encounter between Elvis Presley and Richard Nixon. Mr. President, Mr. Elvis Presley. In 2016, the iconic image was used as the basis of the movie Elvis and Nixon. Elvis Presley. Yes, sir. The entertainer. Oh, I know who Elvis Presley is, yes. Who set this up? You just want to know why on earth that happened, because it really has no reason to exist whatsoever. In 1970, Elvis flew to Washington on a whim. He wrote a bizarre six-page letter on the plane offering help in the war on drugs. Then, Elvis delivered the letter himself. I need to get this letter to the president. It's Elvis. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nixon's advisors approved the meeting because they felt it would be good for Nixon's image. You and me, we rose from nothing. But look where I am today. Look where you are. The meeting lasted for just a few minutes. Elvis showed Nixon some photos of himself with law enforcement officers. Then they posed for that famous picture. The iconic photograph is the most requested image in the National Archives. In 1956, the nation was in turmoil over polio. A vaccine was just approved. Many were skeptical about getting the shot. So who could convince young Americans it was safe? Elvis Presley! Elvis agreed to get the shot backstage at the Ed Sullivan Show. Ruth Tabor is the former health department worker who asked him to do it. I really called up Elvis. And boy, did it work. After the Elvis photo op, the rate of teens getting the vaccine went from 0.6% to 80%. I think every popular singer star will appeal to some segment so you can't lose with no matter who you go for as long as they're a popular icon. In 2017, thousands of fans brought their burning love to Graceland to mark the 40th anniversary of Presley's death. It's been 40 years, which is so difficult for me to believe. It doesn't seem that long. You ain't nothing but a the rock and roll legend died in his bathroom at Graceland from a heart attack in 1977. His daughter, Lisa Marie, shared an intimate moment with mourners, lighting their candles as they walked by. Well, it's the one for the money. Is that Elvis Presley? The tall man with white hair, white beard, and dark glasses was seen visiting Graceland on what would have been the King's 82nd birthday in 2017. Some claim he looked just as Elvis would have looked as an elderly man. Yes, the truth is getting out. Elvis is alive, wrote excited fans. In 2014, Ginger Alden, Elvis Presley's last love, spoke with Inside Edition about her memoir about their time together. I uh, wrote down all of my memories shortly after Elvis passed away. It was just my way of holding on. You know, I wanted to hold on and not forget. And uh, time went on. I went forward with my life. I worked. I got married, had my son. Um, and in the course of all this, a lot of untruths were being said regarding my and Elvis's relationship, a lot of exaggerations. Well, just that, that Elvis was unhappy or, or uh, we argued a lot, things like that, which was not true. And so I wanted to set the record straight, and I waited until my son, who just turned 20 uh, this past August 20th, uh, went off to college. And I uh, sat down, and it took me about two years, and I put together all of my memoirs. And, uh, Finally, I had my book. He was never bored. He didn't act down. We laughed. We watched television. He played the organ in his room. Sometimes we went out. We rode uh, three wheels. He had these great, fun three wheelers. We went motorcycle riding. I miss that we didn't get to see where he was going to go and and you know hear more of his music. And you know he had a lot lot left to do. Well, you could do anything but I hope for my blue way. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andreas Wendell.